Hi, this is Susan from ThingLink. Today I'm going to teach you how to embed a Google Form right on a ThingLink for video. This is how it works. You click on the tag and you'll see a live Google Form right here. Students can answer it and fill it out. And when they're done, they click on Submit and the results wind up as a spreadsheet in the teacher's inbox. So let me show you how to do this. We'll start with a Google Form that I've already created. Here I'm in the editing version of the Google Form. Now, once the Google Form is complete, you want to go to the File menu right here, and you want to select Embed. Then you'll see the HTML embed code right there. Just click in the box and copy it and say Done. Now that we have the embed code from the Google Form, we can return to ThingLink for video and embed it directly to the form. So, on my ThingLink page, I click on Videos to find the video I'm looking for. And I want to add this form to create a ThingLink for EDU, so I click on it. Now I want to edit it, so I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and find this little pencil that says Edit Video. Since this is an existing video, it already has tags that are represented here by the slash marks. But I want to add my form to this video, so I'm just going to click right here, because that's the spot I've chosen to add it to. And now I click on Add a new tag. Now here you can see a spot for a URL or an embed code, but remember we want to embed that Google Doc. If you just put the link to the published form, there'll be a link to the form, but if you paste the embed code in that you copied, the form will show up right on the page. Now I want to add a little text, so I want to say um, learn to create custom icons, because that's what my form is about. Now I want to click here to change the tag, and as you can see all of my custom pipe icons pop up, as well as the existing icons that are already available in ThingLink video. And I'm going to choose the pencil because it's a form and I want them to sign up. Now, you'll notice also I can change the amount of time that that tag shows up on the screen, and that's useful for catching attention, especially if it's a busy video. So I'm going to change that just a little bit. And then I can go to Style, and that's where I can change the color. So right now the color is blue, and I think I'm going to change that color to magenta and save it. Now, as you can see, I've just added a new tag, and it is right here. So if I want to edit it, I click on it, and then I can go ahead and edit it, but it's okay with me for right now. Well, let's save and exit, and now we can preview it. So now I'm back in viewing mode, and I think this was the tag I created, so let's go ahead and click on it. I'm going to stop the video. Okay, and so now you can see the tag I created, and it is that color, whether or not that's the best color, and it's got the icon, and when I click on it, there's my live form, and when I test it, it actually works. I can go back to the video, and I can keep watching, and remember, if you want to add some more tags, just scroll down a little bit below the video box and click on this Edit Video icon. That's how you embed a Google Doc directly into a ThingLink for video. Happy tagging!